Um, this is an overview of, of our uh, study program. So basically, this is a master's program. Um, and regularly, you can study up to three semesters with us. Um, most of our international students, actually, they decide to go on a bit longer to study. So you can study up to five semesters even. Or if you are uh, choosing to go for two sabbatical semesters in order to absorb an internship, then you might even end up studying seven semesters if you so wish. But the regular study period is at three semesters. Um, we have a very high demand uh, amongst international students. Um, we receive around 1,800 to 2,000 applications per year. So it's very hard, of course, to decide for us whom to choose. That's why we have um, initiated a um, suitability uh, admission test, basically, in order to uh, recognize the students who are aptable for the program. And this is done by um, ProctorU, which is an American uh, institution. And uh, there will be an ass assessment test, including around 30 questions of very general basic things you need to know before you can start your master's program. And that helps us to decide among those applicants. You can also find a sample um, examination sheet um, on our website, for example. And currently we have students from approximately uh, 25 different nations around the world. Now, um, this study program is divided into four technolo uh, technologically oriented uh, units and two interdisciplinary units. So we uh, uh, have modern advanced uh, simulation systems awaiting, cooperative and autonomous systems, including advanced robotics, uh, virtual augmented reality, human machine interfaces, and additive manufacturing processes. All of this you can also implement in our lab, for instance, because we have a lot of case studies where you actually implement the theoretical knowledge you gained into the practice. Um, you are put into a group of students and then you need to work on a project which is actually of relevance to us. So, for example, if one of our robots is missing um, sort of a, an arm or, or if we need a certain function to, uh, for the robot to have, then uh, we have a, a group of students and you actually work on a project that is meaningful and is used in the future. Um, and then we also have functional security because everything you do needs to be um, up to the security standards, of course, and cyber physical systems. Um, this program actually, um, after completing this program, you are can do a PhD, for example. Some of our alumni um, have decided to go for a PhD or to go into the industry straight away. That uh, is up to you. Uh, why you should study this program, um, actually um, intelligent systems will enable uh, you to work in the so-called industry 4.0 or the smart factory. Um, we can already see that robots are conquering the digital world. Um, you can see it in the health sector, for instance, with robot assisted um, nurses or surgical procedures, because uh, a lot of medical staff is uh, missing at the moment. We don't have the staff, so we need robots in order to support staff, which is missing. Um, then we can see fast paced development uh, with major topics such as uh, virtual reality, autonomous driving, ambient assisted living. This will define our future. And so in order for these big challenges to be tackled, we also need qualified staff to do that. So we want to qualify you to work in this world of 4.0. And the increasing age of digitalization, of course, is changing the way we work and also new professions will be created along the way. Um, our study program uh, does not include a compulsory internship such as in the bachelor's program, but lots of our students, they uh, go for voluntary internships. Uh, and we have the practical elements of case studies, as I mentioned before. Um, they are integrated in four out of seven modules, so you can see a very high percentage of our modules are practical oriented. And uh, this all goes beyond the theoretical knowledge because you can put it into practice what you learned. And it's very important to have uh, the best of both worlds in order to be able to match what employers seek. 
Um, then we also have a compulsory technical elective subject. We have a catalog of subjects where you can choose from uh, what you want to pursue or what you want to deepen. Um, at the moment, for example, we have programming languages uh, like Python and C++, or um, we have uh, quantum computing. Um, further topics include Industry 4.0, the digital factory. So everything you can imagine under the sun, which is uh, according to the needs of the program, you can study by side uh, as uh, in this technical elective subject, basically. And if one is not enough for you, you can also choose to um, absorb more of those as a voluntary achieve uh, achievement. A lot of our programs are actually also provided by the Virtual University of Bavaria, if you're interested. And uh, here you can see the study content. So we are starting with structures and functions of cyber physical systems, as well as business models. You will have advanced robotics, car bridges systems, and your first case study even, where you are put into groups and you study uh, on a real-time project. Um, in your second semester, you will have virtual reality, HMI, additive manufacturing, where you can gain an insight into additive manufacturing into our own laboratory, for example, and the technical elective. And in your third semester, you only have two subjects because you need to focus mostly on your master thesis and your master colloquium, so the oral presentation of your thesis. Um, basically, you might ask yourselves now, what do I need in order to apply? Um, well, you need a bachelor's degree in a relevant subject area. It doesn't have to be mechatronics. It can be mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, anything related into this field. And you have to have at least 210 credit points. 180 is also fine if you have practical work experience and internships. Then uh, you might gain up to 30 credits and then you end up with the 210 needed. Uh, for language requirements, uh, you need a minimum of B2 in English and a minimum of A2 in German. You will have German language courses on campus as well, which are mandatory. And once you have reached A2 level on campus, uh, then the mandatory part is done. And if you so wish and you want to uh, improve on your German, then you can go on studying B1, B2, German, or even C. Um, we also offer consultation sessions as well as taster studies if you're interested. Um, for the application periods, you see uh, two different study locations because uh, the program was so popular in CAM that we decided uh, to start it on Deckendorf main campus as well. So for the summer semester, um, the program always starts in CAM and the application period is already on uh, starting as of 15th of November this year and ends by uh, 15th of January next year. And for the winter semester in Deckendorf in the next year, the application starts as of 15th of April next year uh, to 15th of July. Um, you can apply online. You don't need to send us any documents. Everything is done online. You just need to upload CV, motivation letter, um, transcript of records, uh, etc. And uh, for further information, you can always click on the links. And Ms. Mara will be your primary uh, point of contact for any questions regarding your application. Uh, the current fields of work where our alumni are currently uh, employed include uh, many different areas. I just chose the major ones here. So uh, software development, plant special construction, electronics development, control engineering, or system and device development. This list is very long. It's just a selection of uh, major fields we have. Um, you have further career prospects in this field. You can um, work in many different sectors, including automotive, for example, energy systems, medical systems, consumer products, material processing. Um, you can work in customer care as a consultant or in product development. This is very wide ranged. 
And that's why mechatronics is such a popular study field, because you're not just focusing on one specific area, but uh, you are dealing with computer science, with mechanical engineering, with electrical engineering. So the field of work uh, that awaits you in the future is very vast. And we can see it in our alumni as well. Uh, last but not least, um, this is an overview of our three study programs on the website. Uh, this uh, is our general contact. Um, if my colleague or me are on vacation, then someone will answer under this email here. Um, this is my email address and this is my colleagues. So um, I would already like to thank you very much for your attention. And uh, if there are any questions, I'm very happy to answer them.